And we're back with some more oxygen not included on RIM, where we're trying to get all of the uh, achievements in 365 cycles. Now, I say trying because, yeah, I'm not sure this can, I'm not sure I can do it. it. It can be done, I'm pretty sure, but it's just a case of there's a lot of achievements to get, and I probably should have done prep work, but no, that was against the rules, no prep work was allowed. For the time being, though, I'm just uh, finishing off doing some expansion, and right here I've decided, you know what, I, I really gotta tame some of these shine bugs now, uh, before they manage to magically disappear, and the Hulk has a cold. Yep, the Hulk got hypothermia. That just seems highly unlikely. Uh, let's check the negatives for hypothermia. Um, minus five science, don't care. Minus five machinery, don't care. Minus five construction, do care. Minus five cuisine, don't care. Plus one sneeziness, okay, that's an annoyance. Okay, so they're... That doesn't affect their excavation at all, meaning they can still dig like crazy. That's okay. The slowdown and the sneezing will be an annoyance, but everything else I can live with. Oh, and it reminds me I should extend that fire pole. I think I can make that longer now. Do I have enough materials? You know what? We'll, uh, yeah, we got some more copper we've managed to accumulate. Just that really does speed things along. Uh, oh, and yeah, the game just decided to. Much better. So that will give us faster travel speeds, but uh, yeah, I need to tame that shine bug before they, they, these things have a tendency to just magically vanish. I thought it was the temperature differences, but they can survive up to 50 degrees down to minus 20. So they shouldn't keep dying off, but I don't know, every map I've played, they, they have a tendency to die out unless I take care of them. Now, uh, how are all our duplicates looking? Oh, research is completed. Robo miner conveyor rails. Where are we? Oop. Okay, we, that's, that's everything. By everything, I mean that was all the uh, the shipping rails and stuff. Now, I think I'm going to get automation to go with that. I'd like some automation to tap into so that I could uh, maybe set up something to do with automating the hatch ranches. Though, to do that, I need to have a rock crusher down. Yeah, there's, every decision feels so important when you're playing it this way. Uh, I, I really am time restricted. So I, all, I want to get all this built, of course, but I also want to finish excavating my starting biome just in case there's any hatches left behind that I haven't got yet. The, a few hatches right now would definitely help just make sure, push me over the edge, you know, get me right to that point of having exactly as many as I need. Uh, you can all go, uh, oh, and that of course is ice, so that's going to melt. Let's just replace that now before it melts and strands a dupe out there. You know it'll happen. Anyway, let's uh, skip this forward a bit. And yes, we have found another hatch. That one shall be added to the collection, and that should speed up our uh, our carnivore achievement. Uh, oh, I've also been advised that park signs and uh, natural parks will work with stifled plants. So I'm going to try and make a natural park here just to see if that's a thing. Because if that works, that will really help get that achievement. Well, right now, uh, we'll just do that there. I think that should be a large enough room. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when those walls go in. So walls are in. Let's see... Nature reserve? You kidding me? It does work? Okay, plus six morale. Right, now I just need, uh, yeah, three more of them, isn't it? Uh, let me check that again. Colony summary. Yep, nature reservations. Build nature reserves, one of four. Oh, yeah, I've been digging up plants like crazy, haven't I? Uh, I didn't think this was going to work. Mm -hmm. Is there any left over here? Did I leave anything behind? Okay, there's three plants there. Uh, I can get could probably stretch them into those. You know what, I'll have to have a think about this. You know, yeah, I'll have a think. No, I don't think I have the option to do uh, the four natural parks that way. I will have to wait until those pips hatch. Jeez, actually, it's a good thing I got those pips. I'm going to need the pips to make them natural parks, otherwise it would just be too inconvenient. I could probably make a second one up here with just a little bit of wrangling by uh, cutting a hole in here and making a, a really weird looking one. And maybe another one over here if I cut in and find some plants somewhere else. But yeah, getting four of them without major inconvenience not an option. So we'll hold out for the pips and we'll do it that way. Uh, oh, that reminds me, I should probably put in one more ranch. I mean, I, I know I may be overdoing it a little bit on the carnivore here, but I really, really don't want to mess this one up. If you mess up the carnivore one, well, that's the whole run over pretty much because you cannot get it. You need to get it in the first hundred cycles or you just cannot get it at all. So we'll stick in a fifth ranch. Yeah, a fifth ranch. Uh, you know what? I might get rid of that national park and make it a sixth ranch. Yeah, we'll make a sixth one. There we go. That will be, that should hopefully be more than enough hatches. I may need to get uh, my hands on more dupes just to do, just to, be, to have something to eat all of that. Now, uh, automation wise, yeah, no, that's still going. I want to get all of those automation wires. If it's one of the achievements is automating some things, eh, might as well get it all, all that research hammered out now. Oh, and we should probably get in some more beds. No, no, no. Once this infrastructure is in place, I'm going to finish this downward dig and I'm going to finish the upward dig. 
I need to do more scouting. I want to find out where space is as well, and I really, really, really have to get in there. So, after much attempting to... Yeah, that, that, that's not happening. Um, I've ended up going down here, but I've decided the ice that I'm accumulating, I've got 15.3 tonnes of ice I've already mined out, which, yeah, and I've still got way more lying on the ground. I need some way of disposing of it. So what I'm going to do is set up these automatic dispensers here. And then what I'm going to do is have these automatic dispensers drop their ice down here. Straight down into this area where this is pumping out hot water. Hopefully it should melt it all. Well, that's the theory. I'll just have to dig down a bit more and make myself a nice little pit and make sure my duplicates can't get down to the bottom and pick up the ice. Uh, in the meantime, I'm trying to get some oxygen down here because, yeah, the carbon dioxide is sinking further and it's no longer going to my, uh, yeah, this setup. In fact, I think I can deconstruct this setup anymore. I don't need it anymore. I think all the water got destroyed anyway. Yeah, it was too cold in there for it to survive. Might have a better chance down here. Anyway, I'll finish this off and this should give me at least some way to dispose of the ice. I haven't found any more hatches in the meantime. Have any more hatched? Oh, two more eggs have hatched. I'll have those eggs uh, eggs swept up and dumped it over here and then try and remember in a few minutes to pop them out. Oh, printing pod, printing pod, printing pod. Uh, thimble reed seeds, no thank you. Uh, let me have a look. I think we'll go with me here. The extra machinery and excavation. I can use more diggers and I can always use more tinkerers right now. I was tempted by the cooking because I am going to have to start making some barbecue shortly. Um, yeah, we'll go with Ant-Man. Why not? They, they've got operating and they like digging. Ants like digging, right? Something like that. It'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, that's another duplicate to add it. Why are they not building these gold amalgam dispensers? They're waiting on delivery. What's going on here? I think I just have way too much stuff queued up. Like an enormous amount. Uh, also, they're not restocking that. Well, yeah, I have so much stuff for my duplicates to be doing. Oh, why are they... Am I out of algae? No, I have 35 tons. Yeah, I think it's just I have so much stuff going on and my priorities are all over the shop. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I think I need to pause for a bit or just let my duplicates catch up with all the stuff I've assigned to them. Uh, I've got too much high priority stuff going on because, well, I'm treating everything as too high priority. You know what? I'll just uh, I'll scale it back for a couple of cycles and let everything catch up. Ooh, another thing that's uh, getting me in trouble is my scheduling. My dupes are now having to travel further and further from the base, so I'm going to uh, increase their downtime slots by one. I've got all the rest of the schedules done up in advance just as I add more dupes. I just want them all there prepped and ready to go. Also, I should have moved Ant-Man to their own schedule, shouldn't I? You know what, Ant-Man? Yeah, you don't need to sleep today. You can go straight onto this. Yeah. Perfect. I just want to keep three on each schedule for the time being. Oh, that means Iron Man shouldn't have been on there either. You know what, Iron Man? You can sleep later too. You're made of iron. You'll be grand. Okay, I know he's not made of iron. Anyway, um... Yeah, do we have enough beds for everyone? Yeah, eight dupes, eight beds. You know what, let's prep for the next eight. And I think we should have enough dining halls to keep them going for now. Oh, I'm going to need to get a cook as well when the time comes. Uh, how much are we looking for in calories? We're still on muck route. None of these have died of natural causes. What I want to do is uh, keep this running until I run out of muck route. And then at the last minute, then start slaughtering excess hatches to start getting meat into the system. By then I should be churning out enough eggs to keep up with demand, though I think I'm going to need a mechatronics engineer just to, or else I'm going to be manually doing all these eggs. I keep having to go in and manually remove all these eggs from the, the ranches. Oh, and we have managed to tame a shine bug. So now that we've got a shine bug tamed, um, if we check in here under, no, colony summary. Colony summary you should see, yeah, we've tamed a shine bug and we've tamed a hatch. So that's two ticked off of, yeah, of way too many. We're still miles away from where we need to be. Uh, also, more of our dupes are getting hypothermia. It's this digging, this water pit that is uh, the problem. But it will be fine once we get down a bit more. Well, you know what? We should uh, prioritize digging that out, maybe? Let's make that a priority six. Once that goes, it'll drop out most of the water and should hopefully stop my duplicates from getting so, uh, yeah, sopping wet debuffs. The hypothermia is an annoyance, but it's not going to be the end just yet. So once we get that water sorted, that means I can dump all the ice down there. That'll give me a nice big pool of water to draw from. And with that, I saw it erupting there earlier. So if that keeps erupting and I can keep dumping the ice down here, I should be able to melt most of it, which will give me even more water to work with, which means I can run electrolyzers, which means I can run hydrogen generators. Oh, and that can go. <laughs> I've tamed that shine bug. I don't need any more. They are a waste of time otherwise. Um, I mean, okay, they're good for lime and all that, but I don't, I don't need the lime. Uh, you know what? We'll cancel that. For the time being, I'm going to leave these doors for the air. I'm not going to open them because shine bugs have a tendency to fly into things. And I don't want anything getting in there just yet. I know it could save me a few split seconds. It's just I'm not really that bothered. 
Oh, I don't have a mechatronics engineer yet, so I still need to... I'm just leaving that there to remind me that I need to keep an eye on the skills section. Uh, skills-wise... Oh, Bane. Uh, Banes are extra strong dupe. They're going into improved carrying. Aquaman can get critter ranching level 2. That'll just improve their ability to do even... How did they get there before the Flash? Seriously, Aquaman beat the Flash in getting somewhere fast? That just doesn't make sense. Never mind. I, I'm thinking about that too much. Um, oh, totally wise. I think since I'm not going to be too bothered with doing uh, decor this round, I'm just going to make this uh, four toilets, four sinks. Normally I leave the extra space for decor, but we're not going to have time. Decor takes... You have to clean out all the debris to get rid of it, to get your decor up, and we don't have time to do that. We're just going to have to go to low morale run and try and get everything squeezed out. Uh, this wise, I've managed to start smashing out gold amalgam. Uh, eggshells to lime I think we'll do forever. And what else was there? Yeah, eggshells to lime seems like a good plan. Oh, also is there fossil enlisted in here yet? No, we haven't found any fossil. Well, of course not, we haven't got down to the oil biome. Uh, oh, perfect, this is almost done. I think once I get this down to there, I'll, I'll cap this out here. I won't go down any deeper. I'll have to go off to the left or the right and go around. I just want to make this a big water tank for hot water out of here and a place where I dump all my ice. You'll notice I've, I've dumped all the ice in there and I just want to make sure I get it down deep enough I can then delete a couple of ladders so that my duplicates can't get down there and that way the ice will stay at the bottom. Otherwise, I'll have my duplicates coming down, picking up the ice, running all the way back up to the top and dropping it off again. I don't want them doing that. Waste of time. So there, all the ice is ending up down here, and that ice should eventually, assuming there's enough heat down here, it should eventually just, well, turn back into liquid. At which point, where is that ice? Come here, there's too much stuff on that one tile, isn't there? There we go, 13.6 tons of ice. You can see it down there at the very bottom of the screen, 14.5. All my ice is going to end up down there. Uh, I'm going to put down a temperature shift plate while I'm at it. You know what? Yeah, let's just make something out of granite. It should be fine. Oh, do you know when you forget about stuff and you forget about it for too long and now you're, oh my god, I'm almost out of food? Yeah, I forgot about food. <sighs> okay, oh, but we did get a colony achievement, which is nice. Uh, to pay the bills, use a duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of a skill tree. Wait, who did I do that with? I don't remember buying out the skill tree branch for anyone. Oh, improved carrying, was it? Yeah, improved carrying. You only need to put, like, that. that's it. For that achievement, that's pretty handy. Anyway, food, 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 food. Uh, we are going to dig you out, and we are going to actually we're going to make you a priority nine to dig you out. You'll be more food for us. Uh, I need to go around and find all the remaining food around here. And yeah, there's one over there. I'm going to have to dig out. I I'm going to have a quick look around to dig out all this food, and hopefully that can tide us over just a little bit longer. I don't want to start tucking into my hatches just yet. Uh, a quick uh, emergency dig of that has provided me with just enough galleries to survive this cycle. I've also found there's muckroot I've been leaving lying around, which is very unlike me. There's another two pieces of this, three pieces of muckroot. Uh, I've also done a priority seven dig over here to get this uh, hexton fruit, which will be a lot of calories. And I've got some priority six digs over here to make sure I get all the two muckroot over there. That should tide me over for another four or five cycles. Which is good, because I need to get a cook. I realize I haven't hired a cook yet. There's no one who can cook up the barbecue. Well, technically, I don't need to cook the meat into barbecue for it to count for the carnivore achievement. You can eat the meat raw, or you can cook it. But I would prefer to cook it, because it gives me more calories, which means I need to, well, harvest less hatches. Which means I'll have more hatches to make more meat, which means I should be more easily able to achieve the achievement. Uh, Colony requires a food source. Yep, tell me about it. That's uh, one of the things I'm working on right now. Oh, and I should probably make those higher priority digs, those, uh, yeah, those ones. Those ones can be level 8. My dupes can get around those to get around to those a little bit faster. And next up, of course, we can't take on another duplicant because we have been offered Drekos. Um, yeah, that's one of the other critters I couldn't get on this map is Drekos. So I needed Drekos, Slicksters, and Pips, and all before cycle 28, the game is like, here, take them, take them. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's, uh, that's going to make my life so much easier. Though I would prefer someone who could cook right now. My calorie situation is pretty desperate and I need a cook. But, hey, you want to give me Drekos just right at this moment? That's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. Um, we will definitely be able to scrounge out just enough, hopefully just enough muckroot to stay alive. Um, yeah, there, there's plenty more things I should be digging out here. Once, oh, there's more muckroot over there. Uh, what kind of close by rocks do we have? Igneous? Yeah, not a lot. Yeah, we got, we got igneous rock. It'll be fine.
There we go. We can get some free oxygen while we're here. Uh, make that. Uh, oh, make those all priority sevens. Uh, the rest of my dupe should be going up here to uh, excavate in there. And once that's done, I am strip mining out this whole area. Everything that's got one of these little cracks in it has got to go. This is all about just barely scraping by. I suppose surviving on wild muckroot with eight duplicates by cycle 28. Probably not my smartest play, but we want as many hatches as possible alive. We have also managed to acquire a sage hatch egg. Uh, no idea, probably there was some dirt left in there. It probably helped increase the chances of that. The hard part is I keep having to come back here and check for eggs really, really frequently. I really want to get my hands on a mechatronics engineer, but that is that is a long way off. Yeah, now I see why carnivore is so annoying. You have to manually take out all the eggs. That is just the worst. I might... If I set up an auto dispenser and drop the eggs off in a place I can't access. Well, at least for now. That might be an idea. No, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. First, I am going to make sure I've gotten every single scrap of food off this map I can possibly get. Uh, I've had access to this for a while now and haven't even gone in. I've been too busy trying to get just enough food to, you know, keep my duplicates just fed. And we're doing quite well. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do some more digging down here. And then once we get our food situation just a little bit better under control, I think we can go and do some uh, construction projects on the side. That turned out to be quite fruitful. I got quite a lot of uh, muckroot out of there. Well, there and a few other places. So I've decided to finish with the demolition of the biome. I've I've been meaning to do it for a while anyway. I also found a few more muckroot up there. But I think once I get through this, the hatches should start, well, becoming harvestable. Hopefully in the next, what? What do we got? 1.8 cycles? In 1.8 cycles, hopefully the hatches will come online, at which point I can stop being so frantically demolishing all the biomes. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop demolishing all the biomes, it's just I won't have to do it so frantically. Yeah, um, yeah, I think we'll let that finish so that we can harvest more food from there once that's all done. Oh, and we've got plenty more room to put in more beds. So yeah, more duplicates, more beds, more hatches, uh, more digging down here when all of that is finished so that we can expand this water supply. Most of the ice is down there already, and I think, I think it's melted, or some of it at least should have melted by now. Oh. Yeah, you can see that pressure explosion. That was probably when a whole bunch of ice, like 13 tons of it, melted all at the same time. And it damaged all the tiles. That is... Hmm, what's that sand? Oh, never mind. It, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll just continue this forward a bit. I just noticed I have absolutely no research selected. That's, uh, that's bad. I should really be hammering all that stuff out. I think I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. There's nothing I really care about too much. I think I've got everything, all the basics I need. Uh, oh... I would like some conductive wire. You know what, I'll, I'll get that first, just in case. It, it would be nice to have access to that. But by and large, all I'm going to do from now on is just queue up more research once the research is done. In the meantime, I'm going to put together an extremely, extremely ghetto egg storage automatic extractor for this because I'm sick of dealing with that. Uh, also, my first hatchlings have hatched, though there's no point putting them into the ranches just yet. The reason being they're, well, they don't, they won't be useful to me until they become adults, which takes five cycles. Uh, calorie wise we're starting to go down again because I'm getting distracted by this side project but once this side project is done we should be good to go back to dem demolishing every single piece of the environment left and here we have my very ghetto automated egg hatcher extractor uh, all I've done is I've set this automatic dispenser to dump out hatchling eggs sage eggs and stone hatch eggs it's a four tile high drop so the dupes shouldn't be able to get access that from the top and I've locked the door so they shouldn't be able to get in and out so if I've done that right, uh, oh, I better set the priority on that to something pretty high. What is this one set to? That one's set to seven, so yeah. Oh, and we will untick you for the time being. That should mean my duplicate should automatically pick up eggs and dump them in there. Oh, there goes one right now. And, whoa. Yeah, don't go for lunch. If you go for lunch, you'll drop them all down to the bottom of the pit. Oh, that's a problem. It's a big problem. I need to stop. I need to have a, a drop at the stop at the bottom of this to stop them doing that. They, as they keep crossing back and forth, if they get called to lunch while they're midway across, they might drop them down here. And right now, I don't have a way of getting them out of the bottom of here. I've made sure my duplicates can't get down here so that the ice always ends up down here and eventually melts. Well, hmm, mm, you know what? Not going to worry. Oh, how long was that there for? Sorry. Um, Eh, salt water, don't care. We want dupes. Bottom of stomach with mole hands? Quickly. Don't want anemic. I think we're going to take Nicola over here. Uh, reason being, uh, the interior decorator and squeamish. They're they're not bad, but I don't want any more bottomless stomachs. I've already got two of those, and I definitely do not want an, an anemic ever. 
So, uh, who is, you're going to be our dog's body, or our cook. Uh, so who has to clean up after every one of the superheroes? Ooh, I know. Hawkeye. Yep. Perfect. So, Hawkeye, you are going to be our chef. In fact, we are going to skill you up straight into that. Uh, straight into cooking. Right, very important. Uh, electrical engineer in Iron Man. Ooh. Here's one of the weird things. Iron Man is going to be good at medicine, but uh, do I really want that just yet? No, I want to get them into electrical engineering, but Ant-Man has a, an actual affinity for it, which means it won't cost them nearly as many morale points. This is going to hurt uh, Iron Man's morale. But once everyone's on barbecue, they'll get a plus eight morale bonus. So, mm, swings and roundabouts. Uh, we will set this to discover new ingredients in the world to in unlock some recipes. Oh my god! I have literally no meat. Um... Right. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go pick up that Paku fillet that's been lying there for a while. That has been, uh, I'm sure my duplicates will appreciate it. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll dig in there and at least that will give us some Paku fillet to work with. Has that, uh, has that puffed died at any point? I don't think it has. Oh, and there's another egg, which means we'll be getting some more Paku fillet to go along with this. I should probably tame that Paku as well uh, while I get a chance. Let's just stick in a critter feeder, dump it with some algae, it'll be good to go. Oh. And we'll make that a priority six. I'd at least like to be like queue up a recipe sometime in the near future. And this seems to be working. All the eggs are going to end up in here. And okay, I will have to open the door eventually. But all I'll do is I'll just set this to sweep only when the time comes. Let my duplicates in to remove the hatches out that I want. Or to evolve the ones I don't want. And that should keep everything ticking over nice and smoothly. Uh, in the meantime then, that means we can capture these critters and start integrating them into our hatcheries. This one down here, I think I'm going to save that up for stone hatches, and this one I'm going to save up for um, smooth hatches. Well, yeah, we'll see how that works out. That should work out, hopefully, the way I want it to. Anyway, this seems to be going okay. I'm not going to get too uh, ahead of myself, but... Oh, cooked fish. Yes, we will do cooked fish forever. And we are going to go into our consumables and tell them not to eat fillets. Where is consumables? Paku fillet. No. No. Damn it, wrong one. No, 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 no. No one is allowed to Paku Fillet. Wow, how do I have this many dupes this early? Okay, no one's allowed to Paku Fillet by default. Perfect, we'll wait until that's cooked up. Oh, that reminds me. If we check here under the achievement section, we can look at Locavore and we'll see we're almost halfway to Locavore already. And that's entirely from just eating muckroot. We've eaten 1, 172,000 muckroot on this map. That's... Pretty awesome sauce, actually. I didn't realise there was that much muckroot around on the this map. This rhyme map is... A rim, sorry, this rim map is pretty handy. I, I'm not going to lie. The amount of wild food I found and the amount of wild hatches to get this started meant it wasn't that bad. I'm not sure if this is the best map for it, but it definitely was not difficult. Well, it wasn't as difficult as I was anticipating. The It's not so much the heat, it's just the sheer quantity of raw resources that are around the map. Well, I'm going to let my dupes finish uh, coring out this place. Oh, you know what? Now that we've got a little bit of time, I want someone to go over there and see what's in there. If that's a, a neural vacillator, we might as well hook it up. How do I have insufficient oxygen? Are people not filling my oxygen? No, oxygen diffusers are getting filled. Oh, that one's not. Well, yeah, okay, fine. You're, you're miles away. Oh, no, it is full. It's just uh, the oxygen pressure is above what it's necessary. Hmm. Oh, yes, that was it. I did dug this place out down here so that I could put in the slicksters. Down here, it's about, oh, 15 degrees. Still not warm enough. Mm. I just need them to survive long enough to get tamed. That's all I need. Uh, so we'll immediately put slickster eggs down here. So larva eggs, you will all get dumped down here. And once the larva eggs are down here, I'll pop them out of the container. Uh, also, my carbon dioxide's down here. Also, all my bleach stone. Ooh, yeah. You know what? Let's, uh, let's maybe put bleach stone through here as well. Where is it? Yep, bleach stone. Yep, perfect, perfect. That will put the bleach stone in the water and I won't have to worry about it. Where was the third one? Yeah, there. Hmm. So, yeah, I think this is going quite well. I think we're we're well on our way to getting the carnivore achievement. Locavore's dead almost, well, Locavore's almost halfway there and we're only at, what, 31 cycles? I think we got this. Anyway, I'll skip it forward a bit more while we get in some more uh, digging done. And, uh, while we're doing all of this, I've also decided to install the fish feeder. It seems like it should be a good idea. Uh, Research-wise, oh, yeah, that research, I'm going to have to keep on top of it and make sure I keep queuing up more and more. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get all the way to the end of it. 
but uh, I would like to get it done in time. Oh, and there's another wild hatch that we found lying around the place. Uh, how many hatches are we looking at in these here now? Uh, okay, we got six critters here, six, six, and two. Wait, no, sorry, the last two were two. I was reading the building instead. Two, two, six, and six. And now that we've got that automatic egg remover, well, almost working, we'll just say we'll put you to seven all the way down. Yeah, so seven, 14, 21, 28. This one we will reserve for stone hatches, and this one we will reserve for the smooth. And how many eggs are we looking at over there? We have... Oh no, we can't access them. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. I can't access them because they're in here and my dupes can't uh, look at them. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's leave the doors like that for a second and see what it says. Uh, stone hatch eggs. Hatchlings eggs. 25. Okay, liking that. 25 eggs. That means we're well on the way. Anyway, uh, most of that has been excavated. Ooh, there's lots of aluminum in there. No, no, I don't need it. Oh, and what have we got up here? Clean cool, clean water that's at 20 degrees? Okay, I was hoping for a neural vacillator, but I'll take it. I will take that and then some. Um, yeah, what to use that for? Well, I need to... I should probably make a centralized water tank. Oh, and this, we'll just... Uh, oh, I have no one who can dig out obsidian yet. Oh! My bad. Hulk, you should have been straight into that. I, I gave you improved carrying. I'm a fool. You know what? Next level. Next level they can do that. Um, I'm going to have to pump that water somewhere. What's our water tank looking like? 11. I think I'm going to make a water tank down here. I'll put in a water tank down here just for that. And I can move all of that into it. And I can dump in all that fresh, clean water. I th think that should give us enough water to get to end game. Though I'll use this water here for the oxygen setup. You know what? That doesn't matter. All that matters right now is we get these hatches up and running and we finish on our expansion and our destruction of all of the natural tiles and environment around here. Oh, and that kind of needs to be filled in there, otherwise my dupes can't get across. Yes, this should work out nicely. Oh, and we have a pinch of pepper nuts, which will never, ever, ever, ever grow in this environment. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. I'm going to just skip this forward some more. There's a lot more digging I've got to do, but as you can see, we're we're coring out the map quite rapidly, though we still haven't hit... Oh, and there's a natural gas geyser. Though we still haven't hit the oil biome. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I would just like to point out that when I built the electric grill, I had absolutely zero options to cook anything because I hadn't encountered any food on the entire map that wasn't muckroot. That's why there was nothing there. I can't think of any game or situation I've been in worth where that has happened. It's just, it's it's not a thing. That That's not something that happens at all. Oh, and uh, I need to get around to taming this Paku, so let's just throw in some algae in there. Uh, I might want to also stick in, where is it? Yeah, we're going to stick in a grooming station, and we're going to tame the Puffed as well. Uh, once that's done, oh, my keyboard stopped working. Damn it. Does that ever happen to anyone else? My keyboard has just stopped functioning entirely, and now I only can only use the mouse to get things done. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go restart this. There we go. That should allow us to tame both the Paku and the Puffed. And once that's done, we should be good to go. Um, You know what? We can get rid of that Paku. What age are they? 22. I'm not going to be able to tame them before they die off, am I? Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. I don't care if I waste a bit of algae at this point in the game. We've, we've got plenty, and we've got plenty more to mine out. Uh, if we check on the resource tab, how much algae are we up to? 60 tons. Wow. Yeah, I can see why people love this map. There is some really nice things you can do with this. Oh, uh, yeah, you need to be popped out. How much time is left on those eggs? We have 94% incubated. Hmm. I've been thinking that they're going to start spitting out crude oil. I don't want that crude oil down here. So I think we will give them a little pool of something. Uh, you know what? We'll do it that way. And if I could put in some mesh tiles beneath them. Uh, so make that out of copper is fine. That should mean all the oil ends up down in that little crevice down there, and everything should be fine. That will mean the oil from the slicksters won't end up in my water supply. Putting your oil slicksters beside your water supply is probably not my smartest move, but uh, needs must as the devil drives. Uh, so... Maybe I made a little bit of a mistake here. It turns out when you're trying to tame these things, you feed them from a feeder and it reduces their, it changes their tameness by minus 15% a cycle. So it'll take several cycles to tame this uh, Paku. Fortunately, this Paku is rather elderly, which means in two cycles, it's going to uh, evolve. 
Uh, so, yeah, that was just a waste of algae, but I honestly don't care. Uh, once once this one hatches, I can tame the next egg, tech, tame the next fish, it's be fine. Uh, in the meantime, demolition is the order of the day. I'm trying to get access to all the food because, yeah, my calories are starting to run a bit low again, and I've run out of easy-to-get places. So I've extended my ladder system up as well. I'm going to extend or extend this uh, fire pole system up as well because there's uh, another temperate biome over here I can demolish. Maybe there's some more muckroot in there. I just uh, want to hold off as long as possible on start up before I consume my uh, first hatches. I want to try and have the largest population possible so that I can keep it as sustainable as possible for as long as possible. And we'll just queue up more research. I'm, I'm not going to be using that grill for a long, 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 long time. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, demolition is the order of the day. I also managed to find another hatch right there. A hatch just... <laughs> There's plenty of hatches to fill up my ranches. What am I up to now? Uh, let's have a quick look at the overlays. We're up to three, three, six, and six. Wait, no, seven in that one. There shouldn't be seven. There's probably an egg in there, is there? Uh, what's this say? No. Oh, no, I set those to seven. I started setting them to seven so that we'd have enough. So it's seven, six, so 13, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17... Mm. 19. Yeah, we should have just about enough, though I would like a few more. Oh, printing pod, printing pod, printing pod. Uh, what have we got? Bottomless stomach, bottomless stomach, and a pacifist. Uh, I've already got two bottomless stomachs, guys. I don't need any more. Copper ore? No, I don't need that pacifist I think we're looking at. Doctor, a doctor and decorating? So, I figure they're a doctor and they like decorating, so, uh, Doctor Strange? Uh, uh, I think they're a pacifist. I, I can't remember Doctor Strange ever actually, you know, harming anyone. He's defended stuff and, you know, timed people out, but he's never actually killed anyone, so technically a pacifist. Maybe that works. Anyway, uh, yeah, more demolition. Of course, while I've been faffing about up here, the Slickster's hatched. And, yeah, they're not confined into a proper ranch just yet, so I need to get them confined in, and I need to start taming them soon. Uh, th their survival temperature is level range, 35 degrees. It's not 35 degrees down here. <laughs> and that liquid is not helping. It's going to transfer temperature to them better. What temperature are they at already? 77.1. Okay, that's plummeting way, way, way too rapidly. I need dupes down here. Uh, priority stat 9-ish. Yeah, that's right. We're, we are using Priorities 9. I, I don't like using Priority 9, but we are using Priority 9 for this. Uh, also, mop that up. Uh, we're also going to want to... Oh, we can't wrangle those, can we? Ooh, we need a critter drop-off. I have managed to get the three larvae down here, uh, sealed into what should be a ranch right now. Nope, still a miscellaneous room. I'm going to have to dig out the top. But, but... Uh, you know, once I get across the top here, I should be able to seal this in relatively easily. Yeah, I just don't let any water in. Uh, but I'm going to wrangle all the critters that are in here right now. There should be a... This should allow me to wrangle everything that's in here. Once all three of them are wrangled, I'll close that door and then have them all dropped off here. Oh, if I could just get a duplicate to close that door right that second, I could have kept them all that side. My bad. I should have had this all set up and done before they hatched. Ugh. This is just a waste of time I do not have. Uh, how are we looking on everything else? Those, no more of those eggs have hatched yet? Yeah, that's going to take some more time, it seems. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, also a hatch got dropped down the ladder and there's now a hatch down there. That's just a thing that's happening now. Oh, priority seven everything? Yeah, that... <laughs> I don't even want to keep these hatches forever. All I want to do is keep the hatches alive long enough that uh, I can tame one of them. That's it. I just need to have one of them become tame, and once one of them's tame, that's it. We're good to go. We're golden. It would, of course, be nice to keep them alive, but I don't think that's really much of an option. Okay, now how are we looking? Oh yeah, I still have to seal up that room. But once that roof goes on top of it there, we should be good to go, and we can start with the taming. Why are those critters not... Oh, did one of them already die? No, three. Oh... Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Okay, storing three of three of zero critters. We have set this to auto-wrangle surplus. Now all those critters should get wrangled up. Well, it looks like you can't auto-wrangle slicksters. So, well, slickster larvae at least. Uh, so, yeah. I just gotta hope they don't freeze before I get a chance to tame them. Uh, oh well. 
You live and you learn. Uh, up here, oh, those pips have actually hatched. You know what? I need to find a way to tame those pips as well. Let's uh, put together a little, uh, a little station for pip taming, shall we? Yeah, a quick one of those should be fine. Once that's done, we'll just throw one pip in there. I only need to tame one of them, and uh, the other one I'll just let run, run, run wild. Uh, the reason being, once I tame one of them, I'm gonna have no way of feeding them anyway. There's no trees on this map, and I'm not bothered making a temperature-controlled area to get them trees in. Uh, oh, and I'm demolishing this biome up here in the hopes that it has some muckroot in it. It, it might. Uh, there definitely seems to be some mealwood seed, so it, it follows there might be some muckroot. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm also going to need to hold out for some skill points. Uh, I still need to get Hulk or Smash into super hard digging or the hardest digging settings. And research? Oh, yeah, I should probably queue up something else. Uh, let's just go straight there. <laughs> yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to this anymore. I am just going to get them all. I should probably get smelting, but um, yeah, there was one question people have. Why don't I just use metal refineries to generate heat? Well, I could, but... It's always a circular problem. I can use the metal refineries to generate the heat to warm up the place, but it takes an enormous amount of power. I mean, I'd need to run three manual generators to provide enough power to run it continuously. Now, I could, of course, well, then the, the obvious answer is, well, why not just run it through a steam turbine then, and you can use the steam turbine's power to help power it. Yes, but then I'm not getting the heat out of it that I wanted in the first place. <laughs> So it ends up in a circular loop. Either you get the heat out of it, but you have to pay a lot of power, or you don't get the heat out of it, but you pay less power. One or the other. Now, uh, how have no more of those hatches hatched? How long have they been there? Come on, guys. Incubation 12, 13, 41, 89, 24, 36, 32, 56, 60, 70. Or is there, yeah, there's a few 86s. I saw a 92 there. Yeah, th there'll be more in a bit. Anyway, I'll skip this forward a bit until I'm finished uh, demolishing most of this area up here. Oh, and I forgot to even notice we tamed a puff while we were at it. So we now have a tamed puff on the squad. Uh, that means we can disable that building. We don't need that anymore. So with a tamed puff, that brings us up to... Is it, uh, we got a tamed hatch, a tamed shine bug, a tamed puff. Now all I need to do is get that slickster uh, ooh, and the pip. And we'll have close to pretty much all the ones that were uh, impossible when we started the map. Okay, uh, what's next up? Oh yeah, Drekdits as well. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to ranch these Drekos just to get reed fiber. Or I'm going to have to generate an awful lot of heat to keep the to keep them warm. Oh, printables. Let's see what we got. More larva eggs? No thank you. No thank you, no thank you. I'm going to keep the ones I have alive. I am not going to mess that up. Uh, athletics with suit wearing? Small bladder. Hmm. So, I've had a bit of a think about this. And I think I'm going to go with Abe here. Uh, the reason being... All my dupes are really slow, and there's no way to really speed them up. I can't, I can't stick them on treadmills to speed up their 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 learning because I need them all to be working. So a fast dupe is really quite valuable for me, especially since I'm trying to get all these achievements in 365 cycles. So uh, a fast dupe with a small bladder. Uh, you're Barry Allen. There we go. I don't know if I've spelled the Allen part right, but wait, was it Allen? A L A N? Yeah, that was probably it. Barry Allen, it is. Yeah, uh, this is almost done. I have been picking up some muckroot in here, which has been keeping me going. We have, we have not, um, oh, there's 64,000 calories of meat. What's going on there? Barbecue forever. Something passed and gave us meat. I don't know what it was and where it was from, but we want to change our consumables so we're no longer consuming the raw stuff. Yeah, all of you gone. Oh, I can just tick that to untick them all. Good to know. Good to know. Um, right. Okay. So that gives us barbecue. That means we can start feeding our dupes on that, which will start supplementing our supply. That means some of these must have kicked the bucket from old age. Well, bound to happen eventually. Yeah, ranch up there is completed. All I need is a critter drop-off. Once the critter drop-off is in place, we can uh, wrangle up a pip and send it over there. Yeah, I think I found out where the meat came from. Oopsie. Yeah, I should have had more heat for them. Maybe I should have taken those, uh, those slickster larvae that were offered a while ago. Um, hmm. I need some way to heat this place up some more. I need more power. I need a lot of things. That... Mm, that may scupper me. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, well, at least we got the pipsqueaks. Uh, once the pipsqueak is tamed, that will be another one crossed off the list. And once that paku matures, that will be another one crossed off the list. This is almost done. Food-wise... Yeah, we're living on barbecue now. I'm going to have to start... Uh, yeah, food shortage. I'm going to have to start trimming the fat, so to speak. Ooh, there's a couple more wild hatches. 
What are the ages on these? 13 and 20. You know what? We are going to wrangle you up. You both can join the fold. I think new critters that are uh, hatched here are going to have to get immediately turned into food. These ones that are already tamed are producing eggs, whereas if I get new ones, I'll have to work on taming them. It's just not worth it. And maybe I need a third rancher. I've only got two of them going, and they're both only, what, level four ranching? Might be necessary. Hmm. Yes, this is turning out a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. But hey, we're running 11 dupes off wild food so far. I think we're doing pretty good. I've been queuing up some digs up here just to get more muck root if at all possible. I've also queued up a dig down here to find another uh, temperate biome, which I've been extracting for more uh, muck root. Also, I found a, another hatch in there. And uh, my food shortage is getting pretty bad, but hasn't hurt anyone yet. And we've got to pay the bills. Wait, no. Good egg. Hatch a new critter more from an egg. Okay, did not see that coming. It's not raw. Have a duplicate cook any meal prepared. Okay, so it's one, two, three. We've only got three, four. Four. Four achievements so far. That's that's pretty bad by, by cycle 39. Well, it, it's not how fast you get them. It's uh, how many we have by cycle 365. That's the big deal. Now, if we could find any more muckroot in here, that would be really, really helpful. Also, what are we looking over here? Hmm, stone hatchling. You know what? You can go over here. Uh, stone hatchlings. There we go. And yeah, we'll set you to a size of seven as well. Seven is good when we're going to be doing all these things manually. Well, with duplicate labor. So that means we can get you... Oh, you know what? I don't want to open that door just yet. Not until they become adults. You can't even tame them until they're adults anymore anyway. So yeah, we might as well just leave them in there for now. I just want to concentrate on getting as much of these uh, little cracked tiles as possible so we can hopefully, hopefully just get a little bit more food to tide us over just that little bit longer. Uh, also, if we find another couple of hatches, that wouldn't be too bad. I found a few more hatches up here while I was at it too. Uh, I really should, like demolishing the whole environment for everything, totally worth it. Uh, what's this one? I thought I already clicked you. Right, gone. Uh, food shortage. No, we've got 8,600 calories. Hopefully we'll have just enough food to tide us over. I'm going to skip this forward a bit. If there's any food problems, I'll let you know. Every little scrap of muck muckroot helps. There's three more pieces of muckroot. How many calories are those worth? 800 calories a pop. Oh, no, don't entomb them. Don't. What, what are you doing? <sighs> Never mind. They'll, they'll get them back out. It's fine. Uh, I'll just uh, finish demolishing the rest of this. Then I think I'm going to take out the whole rust biome because it's just in the way. I still have not made the uh, the liquid tank or the water tank I've been meaning to make. Uh, how many eggs are we up to in this, uh, this tank? I just uh, enabled the doors there so my duplicates can get in and out. And according to this, there is 43 hatchling eggs in there. 43. That's... That's plenty. Yeah, we should... Hmm, let me think about this for a second. A quick bit of calculator math, and that's... If I just harvested all of those eggs, as in once they become adults, or once they become hatchlings, I harvested them for meat, I'd end up at about 172,000 calories. Which, well, we only need 400,000. That's quite a lot. So I think, yeah, I think we got this. Now, uh, I'll finish harvesting that off, and then I think we'll just take a quick stock of what we've got so far, and I will cut out the episode there. Next up on our choices, we have... Well, a pipsqueak, which we definitely don't want. Biohazardous, triophobic, and unconstructive. Well, it would look like Marie is joining us. We don't want someone who can't dig, and we don't want someone who can't build. That sort of narrows it down an awful lot. So who's got plus seven excavation, diver's lungs, and has uh, decreased germ resistance? And we're going with Jessica Jones. I heard she got her spleen removed in the last one, so, you know, uh, spleen reduces your immune system according to that show. Uh, I, I, yep, that'll do. She's biohazardous, but really strong and good at digging. Oh, that reminds me, I should set up the priorities of those tubes. I don't think I've set anyone's priorities in the last four or five prints. Oops. There we go. Hawkeye is now a cooker who doesn't do, like to do building or digging. Doctor Strange, building and digging with a, a plus in art. Yes, they're going to be our artist. We need one artist because we need a masterwork art painting to get one of the achievements. Uh, Barry Allen, uh, they're going into operate. So yeah, building and digging with a little bit of operating. And Jessica here, just straight up building and digging with no other, uh, no other additions. It really is amazing just how much wild food there is on this map. I found a couple of more hexland fruit over here, and uh, there's another biome up here I'm just demolishing for, hopefully just a little bit more muckroot. And if I really wanted to, but I don't want to, there's another temperate biome over there, it looks like there's an acorn, air break on. There might be more hexen fruit over there. 
And I think there's another, where is it? I'm pretty sure I saw another biome around there that was a temperate biome. There is so much food on this map. It is unbelievable. Oh, let me just double check the skills. Okay, yep, Hulk, you're going straight into Can we afford it? Yeah, it's going to put you up to seven. Ooh, yeah, that's going to put you up to seven as well. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Uh, my command will put you one into improved carrying, but that's that's going to be your limit, I think. And Hawkeye, you don't need grilling too. No one cares. Uh, we'll give you improved carry capacity. How do you have 15 morale? You must have eaten barbecue. And Jessica, what did we decide in for you? Oh, you're a build digger. So, yep, straight into hard digging, I suppose. There's going to be lots more demolition going on in this map before it's all over. I think with the help of that food, the last of that food, I think once all of that is gone, it's time to start barbecuing all these critters. Checking my footage, I have way too much already. I think I'm over 40 minutes or something. So I'm going to have to cut this short here. Cut this long here? Anyway, uh, at the time being, we're up to 12 duplicates. We have... What are we looking at in the colony summary page? Let's have a quick glance here. On the locavore achievement, we have three hundred thousand calories already consumed. Meaning, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna finish that in about ten cycles. That'll be done. For the carnivore achievement, we've only got thirteen thousand thirteen thousand calories consumed, and that means we've got three hundred and eighty thousand calories plus to go. Yeah, we're barely just getting started on that one. But on the bright side, we've got about twelve duplicates, so they'll consume. Uh, 12,000 per cycle, so it's going to go pretty fast. Uh, so, so far we've only got one, two, three, four. That's it. We've only got four of these so far. Though we probably could get a, a few more going along if we, we tried, but really we've got 365 cycles. No rush. Research-wise, pretty much everything in food, power, and solid materials is done. Then we'll just finish off colony development and all the rest. I think we'll be able to smash through all of the research in probably by cycle 100. Cycle 100, I think we'll have it all done except for the rocket research stuff. Though, by cycle 100, we're going to want to be seriously considering getting into space. Uh, that'll only give us 250 cycles to get liquid hydrogen and fullerene and all sorts of stuff going on. It's going to be incredibly difficult. Um, yeah, also, you know what? There's a lot of problems, but don't worry. For the time being, we're just about to go into uh, major meat eater mode. I think there's a, there's a hatch around here. I was just checking through them. Some of these can uh, get some early retirement. Like this one has 99 cycles under its belt, and it's only got a year to go to retirement. I might just uh, tip that over the edge once that hits... Uh, once it, once it drops its next egg. I think I think we're going to handle this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.